Hi, welcome to Kitty Four Crafts. Um, I'm Kathy, and I want to say a huge shout out um, and thank yous. So thank you, Crafting with Shay and Diamond Grandma, um, for helping um, me get to the next plateau, I guess. Um, I really enjoyed myself on Crafting with Shay. Um, I did a live in case you hadn't seen it. So I'll link Crafting with Shay down below so you guys can one, check out her channel and two, if you're here new um, and hadn't seen any of my videos, one, thank you for coming. And two, I'll link that so you can see what Crafting with Shay, she's awesome sauce. Um, and then Diamond Grandma, I'll link her down below. I had sent her something because I knew she would like it and she gave me a shout out as well. So I appreciate that as well. Thank you to all my new subscribers, which there are a ton of you and I really appreciate that. Um, you know, I I went with I went on Crafting with Shay because I just, you know, she asked and I was like, sure. You know, it wasn't that I'm, you know, looking for anything. I can't thank you guys enough for subscribing, you know, clicking the bell getting the thumbs up and all the things that you do I can't say thank you enough it really means a lot um, to the point where my son called and said hey look at the youtuber I'm like uh, whatever I can't say thank you enough I really do appreciate all of you guys uh, for coming on and listening to me babble and paint or diamond paint uh, so I just what I can say is wow. That's what I can say. Wow. Thank you, though. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot. It means a whole lot, in case you, you know, you don't know. Um, yeah, it means a lot. Okay, so that. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to whip and chat. We're going to whip some chat. And I don't know. You know I'm cuckoo today. Um, going to look at doing some stuff and that is so crooked isn't it yeah like what is she doing um, it's crooked so i will straighten that out um this is around so the last supper is around um a couple questions that came off shade was you know do i like round versus square um i don't have a preference in case i i think i said it but just in case i didn't i don't have a preference i just kind of mix them up like so if this is around i'll probably do a square next but um we'll see just because it depends on my mood on what i'm trying to paint next really uh this was something that's out of rotation because i like to try to do things as i get them but that being said uh this is you know it came i wanted to do it and it's just like oh and i'm halfway through because i have um jesus's face done and so i've got the six on the one side, if you're looking at it this way, six on the right, then Jesus in the middle. I got six on the left to do. And I've got to finish the wall and ceiling above um, above Christ so that I will be done with him totally. And we'll work on that one today. Um, the four crafts we talked about, but I'll run through it real quick. Again, diamond painting is one, cross stitching is two, eyelash hook, as well as do Legos. So I mentioned Legos on her channel, but I'll show you what I've got left. This is the one I've got left to do that my son bought me um, for Mother's Day. So I do cars. I love doing Legos. I love doing cars. I did a video, but I couldn't get to post. So I was like, nobody wants to be doing Legos anyway. Um, and it's more of a, I do so much and then I'll go, okay, here's where we are. Kind of a video. So if I can get it to post, I'll throw it up. If I can't, I'll try to do this other one. And then... Um, Maybe throw a picture or two, not on this video, but on another video and show you what the Lego statues look like. Um, I've got a Darth Vader head over there, um, a bunch of cars. Mm, there's a bunch of other stuff over there, um, but we will see. So that being said, anybody new, thanks for coming in. All my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, all my peoples, thanks. Um, like subscribe ring the bell do all the things um 
otherwise let's do this so today what am I using I have got firefly and this one's gonna be yeah inferno mini is the one I'm using and don't forget you guys it comes with a, a trash tray and a lid I take the tray out because I kind of shake with that <laughs> um, I need to order me a new one don't tell my husband but I need to order a new one because I love this sucker um, I've got some other trays but I love this inferno um, I've got my my husband bought me a drafting table that actually tilts up so that's cool as I'm doing with you guys though it'll sit down but on the side here what you don't see is I've got my pins over there I got my little brush that I keep things cleaned off with and then I've got my um, diamond art clubs but they are my tweezers so one of the tweezers has got washi tape on it and this is the one I use to clean out all my gook from like all my waxes my putties and my sticky stuff that's what this one's for and then I've got the good one sharp as all get out as usual wee wee. Um, that one is the one I use to straighten or to lift or whatever I need to do rounds and or squares I do I don't know I know I know DAC only gives us tweezers with squares but I use it for both so I don't know um, I've got my pins over here so I'm just gonna grab what I know I'm gonna need um, well which is probably all I'm just grab them all and it's in the little cup thingy and then I have the the squishy that you know the one funky pin we get with all of our stuff I put these um, squishies on them and then I put straighteners on those too small one and a short one on both of those so that I can kind of just kind of go in and straighten I use my big mama straightener for bigger sections like that little section I saw earlier I can just kind of pull it because I saw like mm, that looks like it's off a little bit but anyway and then for the last supper I kitted up in craft mates and so my craft mates gonna, there we go oh, my water's over there watch it and this is what they look like and then this these labels are just labeled one through because the kit is one through eight is one through eight and the um a through z with some stuff missing but they're all caps and then i have what two four five symbols a percentage sign a star a plus sign an equal sign and a question mark that's what this kit contained um everything's pretty much in all the things i think i got one bag left out that i hadn't put in yet and there goes the grandfather clock um so that's where we are yeah that's all i got going on um waxes and putties today i think i'm good um, I don't know that one's got some junk in it um, we are probably going to be okay to get through with what we are doing today I think I think okay we will see if not um, Miss Creations by Danny Tropical Rain this is the oh because someone asked me that on Shay's thing Mm, yeah yeah um miscreations by danny is where i got this and the gnome pen from because someone asked me do i have any fancy pens and I'm like yeah i got one <laughs> it's just this one and i got it from her as well um my son got me this um i don't know a tree stump and lauren knows where he got it from and then i got a dac pen with washi tape holding it in oh. on both nope just one end that side's good with my metal tip on it and that's a six placer on that end and this is seven placer on this end but you can see the washi tape no oh, no you can't oh, there you can Whee! okay so that's what i got going on creations by danny if i'm going to use some extra wax 
got all the pins. This is those pins I was telling you guys about I got off Amazon. They screw. They just screw it. And I'm not going to lie, I love them. They're just kind of weird, but I like them a lot. Um, my fancy pen. Not that I haven't gotten any fancy pens. I love gnomes. So that's the reason why I got this one. I just, I don't think I've ventured out to getting fancy pens. That's what I want to say. I just haven't gotten that far. Um, yeah. But I went out and got waxes and putties from different folks that I've been working with. But otherwise, that's about all that I've done. Just someone asked me that question. So I want to answer, make sure I answered it again. Otherwise, I think we are good i don't um someone yeah someone in the comment in one of the videos about sealing i don't seal my artwork except eyeballs so i've only sealed one or two and i think one of the art dots i had to seal because i felt like it was slick and so i'll show you what i used to do that polyacrylic or polyacrylic from Minwax it's what I used to do my sealing okay so like I say I don't really seal um, like I don't seal DACs I don't seal Michaels makers mark make make mark make market <laughs> I don't seal it I don't I haven't sealed any of my leisure arts diamond dice I ain't done none of those so just FYI um, but what little my son has bought me on the third party companies, I'll call it, well, let's call them that. Um, uh, I've owned, he's bought me a couple and I've only sealed one of them. Yeah, but I, I did have to seal that art dot and art dot's working on that stuff. So give me another art dot and let's see how that one works out. We'll see. Okay. Um gonna get on here and I'm going to uh, let's see get on here and remember I told you guys before gems go you guys I don't care if y'all see this because you're not gonna see nothing besides all the games I have on my iPhone but okay there we go so this little crazy eight this little video uh, this little video this little box here is that gems glow Jim's flow, flow, F O L. I'll link it below, but that's what it is. And so I'm going to click it. Ah, did it in time. Jim's flow. Now I've done way more than three diamond paintings, but these are the three since I've started this, this app. So I'm going to click last supper and then it kind of shows you, you can put a picture in and what it looks like, and then you can track everything. So right now, you can see like how I've tracked everything and like I've been I've worked on this for 25 hours good gravy huh. and then um, someone had asked me on the live about how big it was you can just put that in here 85 by 40 and it kind of breaks it down and then you can just do all the things and then you can tell it all the colors too um, you can tell it like it's a full drill it's around where I got it from oh, too far sorry where I got it from I should put Amazon from work Thank you. And then um, when I ordered it, when I received it, they I started it. And you can do all the things. And then it tells you how many colors. Like there's 35 colors. This has no ABs on it. Um, and then you can tell it like how much you paid for it, um, how much it came, uh, how much it was. So I knew how much this was because it was in my Amazon cart already. But that being said, um, it was $19.99, just in case you wanted to know. Um, so that's that. And then, yeah, 35 colors. And then you can put the colors in as well. And then it gives you, like, you can, let me see if I can pull you down. There you go. So you can do this. It tells you the colors. So you can, tell, let me see if I can get it from here. Oh, yeah. And then it tells you, like, there's all the colors I have. And then you can say how many bags of each you had. And I think, I think I didn't put it in. And there, one of them sitting right here, so I might do that. But these are all the colors, so it's a bunch of browns. I mean, we're talking about the Last Supper, so there's not a lot of colors per se in this, co like vibrant colors. I think the most vibrant is going to be the window and Christ um, blue in his robe. 
Otherwise, there's really not a lot. These are all DMC. You can oh, and you can do that too. It lets you do DMC and diamond. Let me not lie to y'all. Diamond dots. Okay. And then it has ABs listed too. So you can do that. So what I normally do is I go add hours and I'm going to hit, it, it comes on, let me just show you, it comes on here for like, mm, there you go, from and to, so you can tell them what time today and what start time and whatever. So you can tell them today and then you just click yes. And then I just set it to the side. And then when I'm done from doing all the things that I want to do for that day, then I go ahead and turn it off. Now, when I'm done diamond painting, diamond painting for me means starting it, getting it out, and getting it all put back up. So that's how I click it. I don't know if that's how you should click it, but whatever. That's what I do. Okay, so release paper. Someone asked me about that. I use release paper. This is from Crafts with Crashly. I'll link her below. And then how do I do my paintings? So I generally look at the section I'm working on, which I'm going to do this big section because I want to get both these done because I, I was slick because I wanted to get Christ's face done. So I kind of messed up my own thing. But, um, and I look at my tray. I go in numerical order. So that being said, this is one through seven, then eight through E h through o that kind of stuff that's what i do so this one has one two three four five of these trays i'll go one through five that's just like what i like to do um it is very rare that i go out of order just because i'm weird i can say that okay so i'm looking and i am looking pretty good there are no ones and there's no twos on good gravy but there are some threes so we will start with three and we'll go from there so i'm going to scoot that i'm going to move you down and oh let me show you how this opens there's a little push button here you push that button and you lift up now that's open yes that's three but nothing else opens kind of cool and then i just dump it as such as i dumped half of that on that tray um on that thing oh but that gives me a chance. Have y'all seen this little thing? Let me get my gizmo. Maybe. I got this gizmo. Where did I get this from? I don't know. Anyway, I got this. It's like a little vacuum. There you go. And then you turn it off. So all those ones I just dumped. And then it squeezed turn it and then you can get your drills as I still dropped like two good gravy Kathy and the thing and I'll pick those up like this there we go nope I missed one there we go maybe there we go so cute little vacuum if you like on a table table I bet that would work wonders um matter of fact I'm just gonna use this right here I've got one here and I can just pick up. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. There we go. Um, I imagine it works wonders if you have a table table that you're working on. So, there we go. I'm going to let y'all look at this in a second. But I'm going to pick up these three drills I dropped. So I won't forget where I saw them at. And I'm going to place them where I got this on my brain. But, anyway... So, there we go. All right, let me get y'all down here and we can chit chat. We'll go for just a little bit longer. I just wanted, I really wanted to get on here and say thanks. I just, I, I wanna say thanks. I wanna say, as y'all go, wee, there you go. This is the section we're gonna do. Um, I just really can't, I can't believe it. It's great. Um, you know, like I said, it was more of a, um, when you're when you've had an illness, and <laughs> and you know every time you get sick or you don't feel good, you think something's wrong with you. And it, it's it's stupid, but it's it's your brain. Um, I just wanted something for my kids to look back on and 
and quote unquote laugh at and listen to me talk and go, she was such a goofball, you know. Um, yeah, that's, you know, it was for, it was from my own journey for me to um, kind of take this and walk through, you know, doing diamond painting. And, you know, I made a comment, I love to cross stitch, but I cross stitch at night in bed. So I'm going to find a way to make that work so that you guys can see um, me cross stitch as well. It's just kind of funny because I, I do it at night. Oh, you guys, there's a one right there. That's okay because we're done with threes. <laughs> um, oh, no, we're not. See one more. Get gravy. And so, oh, can you guys see the table? There's a table. Let me see if I can get my hand back down there. I don't know if I can. Weep. Anyway, so this is this table I was telling you guys he got me. I love it. He's put the lights on it. But, um, and where did that three go? Uh, we haven't kind of figured out how to make it look, quote unquote, just a hair a bit better. Oh, there's another three. Good night. Um, so we're working on that. But, you know, it's all a process and a progress of doing stuff how you want your stuff to be set up, how you want everything to go. Oh, there's a, you know why I didn't see no one job? There's like only one. Um, so, that being said, yay. Okay, but, you know, I I don't know, guys. I just want to say thanks. I just, woo, you know, makes you want to cry to think that someone wants to take the time to listen to you, to hear what you've got to say, or, you know, what have you because you don't you know most time you don't think what you have is valuable like i i've been across cross stitch and lord i've been diamond painting a year and a half give or take probably more like a little take on that but um i what do i have to offer you know i don't feel like i have anything to offer someone but i guess you know Shay made a good point what I do and how I do things might help somebody else out because maybe they thought that was a goofy way to do it and yet you know oh she does it like that too thank goodness someone else does it like that so yeah I don't know but glad to have done it um, done the live it's funny because as a as a professor I'm used to talking to you know people but it's funny to talk to people and you can't really see him like I could only see Shay. It, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I really, really, I can't stress enough how much fun I had with that. So, yeah, thanks again for her doing that and asking me to do it. Because I really, I really had so much fun. So, so much fun. And like I said, thanks to you guys for hanging out with us and asking questions and, you know, wanting to learn more about me. So, um, you know, I meant to tell, tell you guys, for some of you guys that were on there who were asking about my cancer journey, you are more than welcome to comment or even email me. My email's down below. Uh, if you have questions about that, uh, now that's probably one journey I can help you with. You know, your diamond painting journey, I can tell you what I know. <laughs> And what I don't know, you know, but your your breast cancer journey, um, I I can I can help you, I can hook you up with that one. Um, you know, I I can really, you know, help you out if you need it. And that goes, oop, that see that's kind of crooked. I'll fix it. Um, that's guys and gals, because don't forget, people, guys can get breast cancer too. So. Um, if you are in a breast cancer mode of some sort, and let, let me say any cancer mode, because chemo is chemo. I don't give a hoot nanny what kind of cancer you got going on. If you just need someone to, to talk to or just to email and go, listen, I just want to vent. Vent on. Vent on. Because I have been there. It is messy. Um, yeah, cancer is messy. So if you really, you know, if you will, seriously, guys, if you really want to talk about your journey or you need assistance on just for someone to listen and it's not your significant other. And let me say to you, 
um, my husband was the bomb during the whole thing and still is. But I mean, like, what? You, you just kind of go, okay. Like when I went to my first chemo treatment, he got to sit there for me, with me, which trust me, I was glad he did because that first one was a doozy. But after that, he was like, I can come. I was like, you don't need to come in here. I'm getting ready to cross stitch. I mean, you know, it was funny. Um, but he would bring me my my lunch because I had Jimmy John's because that was something that my stomach and I agreed on, right? Um, if, you know, sometimes your stomach doesn't like food. <laughs> I say sometimes. Heck, I'm still going through that. Um, me and, and I, my oncologist is funny. He's like, what do you mean your stomach's still upset? Boy, just what I say it. My stomach is a jack the heck far up. Um, so I'm still not eating really well, but you know what I can eat, I do eat, right? Um, and you can only do what you can do. And know that. Know that you can only do what you can do. Um, sometimes, in some days, you're going to feel like, you know, super woman or man. And then there's other times that you're going to be like, um, yeah, absolutely not. Not happening today. It, it happens. You know, There's I have a treadmill and there's days that I, I want to get on it. And then there's days that I'm like, yeah, not today, sister. And then there's other times I'm like, I want to go outside and walk. You know, so you will find your niche and your groove. You will know what's good, what's not, how to handle it, how not to handle it. Some things you figure out after the fact, you're like, mm, probably shouldn't have done that. You know, it's, it's, it's a daily, it's a daily, you know, my unconscious is like, listen, you're going to be done with this, but understand that your body's not all the way done. So we're making fun of my hair on the live, not really making fun of it, but just making a joke that it's stupid soft. And someone made a comment by like, it looks so soft. Oh, cause it's not my hair. Like <laughs> this is not Kathy hair. This is cancer hair. Um, you know, it, it's funny. It's, it's funny hair. So I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, you know, some people into those chemo curls and stuff, and that wasn't my cup of tea. Not that I'm mad at the curls, but I don't know. They were just weird, and they were doing weird things, and I, I just wasn't feeling it. Just gonna be honest with you. So I I decided to relax them out and go for it. Someone's like, "You did you did that to your curl? Oh my gosh!" I'm like, "Yeah, because you ain't gonna take care of this foolishness. Chemo curls are not easy to deal with. They are very funny." Um, because it's funky hair. You have to think, you lost all your hair, so guess what? It starts all over again. Like, it's baby hair. It's, it's wacky. So, I'm just going to say, it's a journey. It's your journey. You do your journey as you want to do your journey. And that even goes for it. And we're going to just go get off that cancer foolishness. But that goes for this, too. This is your journey. So however you want to do this, do it. If you want to, you know, <laughs> I know someone, I can't remember who it is. Dag nabbit. She, she does hers where she doesn't, she has the, the keeps the plastic on it. And she just does wherever she wants to go. Like she's all over the place. Like I'm, I'm in, I'm systematically together, right? She would might have this one over here, right here off. And then she's over here. And then she's over here. I'm like, oh my God, you're wearing my brain out. Um, but guess what? Her diamond painting her rules. You right? Right? So you do what you want to do. It is all about you. This is your journey and how you want to do your your diamond painting. Again, let me let me preface and say your diamond painting. It's just yours. You're the one who's gonna hang it up or give it away. You are the one who's doing everything. So do you these little you know what I didn't tell you when I first got this because I didn't really pay attention these little A's and these eights oh good gravy my good night they are just horrible um so do your journey in whatever that is like if you're doing a journey for your job then do your journey like people just need to understand what they want is what they want. You know what I learned from cancer, you guys? This is what I learned from cancer. Life is too short. 
to sit here and worry about the small stuff and sweat the small stuff. You are too blessed, as they would say, to be stressed. And you need to do what you want to do, whatever that is. And I feel like people don't, don't live their truth like that. I think it's something that I have come to do and I try to do. Now, I'm not still not good at it. Oh, I'm about to get some more stuff. This is not sticky that much. Um, I try to live in that truth. I really do. Um, there are times that even the best of us can't live in our truth like that. Like you just, I'm just going to do me. Yeah, sure you are. Sometimes you can and sometimes you cannot. Um, I say that because there's times that I'm doing my thing and then there's other times I'm like, mm -mm, what she ain't doing today because um, I can't be bothered. So trying to stay in your in your areas, in your truth is always going to be a challenge, but do what you want to do. You know, be who you want to be. You know, live how you you want to live. Just don't let anybody take your thunder. Just don't do it. Don't let people take your thunder. So, anywho, that's my soapbox on that mess for today. Anyway, what else is going on with me? Um, nothing really. Yeah, nothing really. I'm just kind of, just kind of hanging and doing my own thing and is that six? I don't think I got I don't pick up. I knew I didn't pick up six. Um doing my own thing and chilling. And watching TV. So look I need to turn on um what am I watching? Oh swamp people. Mm mm Swamp people serpent serpent mm -mm, I can't say serpent invasion because swamp people with the alligators is over. So you're watching Serpent Invasion. What else am I watching? Um Skinwalker Ranch. And I think that's about all. I've been watching a lot of that Roku TV I told you guys about. I've been watching that. What I did notice that it does what's the word I'm looking for? Repeats. So like you think you're like, oh, it's going to be something new on here. No. So every couple days, the Roku channel repeats. Just FYI, in case you, in case you didn't know that, someone's going to come in the door. Hold on, guys. All right. That was my husband walked in, and he bought me a smoothie. So anyway, um, I've been some two things I've been watching, really. But then the Roku channel is telling you about that. So with the Roku channel... What number is this? Oh, this is A. Um, it repeats. So, like, you get to watch some of the stuff over and over again. Like, I didn't notice that until I was like, didn't they just show this last week? And then I was like, oh, y'all repeat stuff. Mm, mm hmm. So, just FYI, so that you know it's a repeater. So, remember, I told you to watch it. But if you don't care to, like, watch a bunch of stuff over and over again, then this might not be the thing for you. But... Like I say, I enjoy watching, um, what's it called, horror uh, movies. But one thing that I watch on there is Universal Monster Television. And I enjoy it, even though I've seen like 99% of those movies because my mom would have me watch them as a kid. Um, and I still watch them today. And then most of them are black and white. So if you're into black and white movies as well that's something to think about a lot of them are black and white so like they show frankenstein they show dracula the mummies on there um and i'm talking about lon cheney bella lugosi i'm talking about those types so just fyi on that but that's what i'm watching um i i my husband will tell you i've been watching the journey to the center earth my husband makes fun of me because i watch old stuff i don't watch a lot of new tv um my co-workers got me watching crazy crap and I'm like okay I don't know how y'all watch this foolishness um but I do watch cartoons and I say that to say I love watching like Bluey as an adult like that stuff is hilarious and then I do watch um some Disney Mickey Mouse um that new school Mickey Mouse he pretty funny um 
and then I do watch National Geographic stuff. So, I, oh, I did just watch The Secret of Octopuses. I always thought you should say octopi, but they say octopuses. I, I just feel like that does not sound right. But what do I know? Anyway, I'm not an English teacher. I'm a medical teacher. So, that being said, man, the stuff I learned about octopi. I'm going to say octopi. Oh, my gosh. So neat. Only three episodes. And in those three episodes, they're like 40 minutes a piece. And it's on Disney or Hulu, whichever one you got. Um, well, if you got one, you probably have the other because heck fire. Nowadays, they all go together. But anywho, um, man, I learned a lot. Enjoyed that. And then found out that James Cameron, you know, Mr. Titanic, Mr. Avatar, um, helped, I guess, video it or something. I don't know. But he was on, he was actually on the little video after the fact. So, and asking the lady questions. It was just cool. I learned a lot, enjoyed it. Um, thought it was something that would be very interesting. Now I have an aquarium, but it's a, it's a fresh water. And I was thinking about turning it into salt water. So if anyone's out there ever turned their aquarium into a salt water, let me know down below and how that went for you. I've been to chicken to do it and where I live we don't have like when I lived in Florida I can just go down the street and go get some saltwater fish here I'm gonna have to order them because I don't live in a city that has them abundantly like that and anybody trying to drive up to Chicago or down to St. Louis to go get them so um I don't know if Amazon eat. look I look I told you I love me some Amazon I don't even know if Amazon sells fish uh, I'd be something to find out, wouldn't it? Do y'all sell fish? But anywho, um, I kind of want to figure out what to do with that. I want to figure out how to get my tank to do um, salt water. I've got it. The substrate, this will make no sense to some people, but the substrate is already sand. So it wouldn't take much for me to do it. I just need to, of course, clean it out and change it out. But um substrate sand is what you would use so i don't know i just kind of would like to have a salt water tank but i just don't know about the nuances of it all so if you have a tank and you have a salt water tank let me know down below if you went from s s fresh to salt and if you did did you keep your like i've got a 36 gallon so someone's going to say well what size is it? a 36 gallon tank bow tank actually I had a 75, but when we moved up here, they broke my tank. Oh, it was a sad day. It was a 75 gallon. But anywho, um, that's that. So that's the only other thing I'm working on or trying to figure out how to do. I love keeping fish. They're, it's just a fun little hobby. And someone's going to say, like, you've got enough hobbies. That's why your husband like, yep, you're right. You're right. That's why he's like, girl, if you don't pull out another hobby and see what I, I'm going to knock you out. But, you know. Oh, that's what else I've been doing. I said that, and I, I'm not making light of it, but I have been um, dabbling in the 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 foolishness, foolishness, let's just call it what it is, of P. Diddy or Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call him, whatever his name is. Um, I've been dabbling in that foolishness. I've been watching stupid stuff on him. And then I have been watching, for you folks who like murder and mystery, I've been watching on YouTube, Bailey Syrian. I'll link her down below. But um, murder, mystery, and makeup, and well, as well as her dark history, I love watching her. She's a hoot. Um, murder, mystery, and makeup is her talking about a murder mystery while she puts her makeup on, and she finishes a look, and it's really cool. And then dark history, she's already sitting and she's jibber jabbing about some foolishness of our history lessons, like. One of them was like, if you're from the 80s, you know Liz, um, Lisa Frank. One of them was about the Lisa Frank stuff. I was like, say what? It was crazy. I can say that. It was crazy. Like, I didn't know all that was going on. Well, of course I didn't because, you know, not my monkey. But, man, that was crazy. So, learn about Lisa Frank. But anyway, she does all kinds of stuff. So, I watch her. Mm, that's about all I've been doing, y'all. I haven't really been watching a lot or doing a lot. Just kind of chilling and living. Um, you know, like I said, I have generalized aches and pains and 
always thinking I need to go to somebody's hospital because I'm mental and I'm trying to stay off that boat you know because I know there's quote unquote nothing wrong with nothing so I just gotta make sure I keep it that way it's a mental thing it's just really mental but oops I don't have a thing up but anyway I guess that's all I just was kind of checking in with you wanted to say thank you again because I really cannot believe you guys you guys are so awesome sauce um and you know give you a little mini update on what's going on probably going to do today like i told you guys normally i wouldn't do today but on wednesdays i work from home and um, i got done early today because i was going to actually do something else and i didn't go do it so i just took off and left off so i went ahead and decided to do this today but that being said i will actually literally do something more on Saturday like I normally would do and get it out to you guys and that's probably about the gist of everything I'm gonna be doing I mean, I'll lift y'all up because we're done yeah so I think that's all for today yeah yeah um just thanks again I really appreciate y'all all right, you guys behave, be safe, be you, keep on down and painting, and I'll catch you later. Bye.